taught him swear words. <laughs> <All right. laughs>
big of a <laughs> dude I am. I'm actually, yeah, roll an insight check. Yes, I get <laughs> Oh, and we get a nap one, boys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, something about just the angle of how you're floating. You're like, I just don't see anything that I can fit on. I don't even see the regular debris. I'm just like, <laughs> well, I guess I'm going to die, you know. Meanwhile, Sergio sees a, like a large, large piece of the ship. And he just hopped off. <laughs> you are a noble steed. <laughs> you if I survive this, you're paddling. getting punted. <laughs> you're getting punted farther than you were last time. <laughs> yeah. I overhear that. Like, I'd pay to see that. <laughs> Anybody else? I'd like to fend my own decree. Okay. Throw my perception. Please. Twelve. Okay. Uh, with your twelve, you find a piece that did. Barely keeping you above water, but it is managing. Okay. Uh, Akmon and Jonas. Yeah. Um, I guess I'm gonna... Are they other ships? You can't see them through the storm. Can't see them through the storm. Alright. Yeah, go after the board. Okay. I'm metal, so... <laughs> Do I use I'm also like a big board. So. I'm, I'm going to say that you have in the, water. the natural, he's got the natural, like, what is it? You know, you guys have I ever heard of the reflex, so you know, like when I you get knocked out, out, you know, you go back to the natural state of yeah. when you're a baby where you extend your arms out if you fall, you know? Yeah. Could be a little bit of that, you know, just, and so he's just doing it back and forth. It looks like yeah. a weird butterfly. Uh, Sergius is going to paddle over to Aquaman, get him on his big piece. And chair. He's not gonna jack him. <laughs> Alright, Akmon, you see this tiny person paddling over to you. To me? Yeah. Yeah. What's the tiny person one? Get on a piece of wood before you drown, man. I know we had our differences. I'm not gonna do. Everyone thinks I'm gonna do and hit you. Just get on the board. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Is the blue stuff bad to stay in? Yes. Yes, tiny metal and man. That's good. What? All right. Uh, I'm gonna <laughs> swim over to the the board, but I'm gonna get as far away from him as I can. I can so barely hang when, on to this board. When you like, you're getting on it, or you're like, just gonna like. I don't know. I'm wrap my arms around it. Probably. Okay, so you're you're gonna be like Jack from Titan. Yes. Okay. Sergio's had a great moment there was enough to where he just wants to be like <laughs> the Santa Claus in a Christmas story. <laughs> Push Ackman's head under the water, but he thinks he thinks better of it. He might come in. So yeah, you you fully jack from Titanic on this piece of wood with Sergio's on the other end, really trying hard not to kick you in the face. How many people could fit on this board? Uh, probably two regular sized people. Like, <laughs> on it with Ackman hanging out. Ackman. 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 I'm like Akbar. It's just Ackman. <laughs> with Ackman hanging on to it. Oh, um, with him hanging on, definitely one other normal sized person. Yeah, not, not Romano's or. Right. Well, I'm assuming Jonah, he'll be okay in the water, so I guess if we can get Athos on the board. Athos is on her own board she, already. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to look back at Akman. 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 Yes. I'm going to look at Akman and just ask him to start walking and kick the board. Like while walking? I paddle. Like, like walking kicking. in the... Like, I'm trying to teach him because yeah. he doesn't know. Yeah. So, like, you know, uh, like in Ice Age. <laughs> so, I'm going to have you roll a survival check to see if you can properly explain this. Okay. Or if Ooh, you're going to SpongeBob explain it. I... Oh, that's a nat 20. Cool. So, you are able to explain to Akmon and teach him how to swim. Congratulations, Dad. Boy, yeah. I think. Well, he's not there, right? Yeah. 
Oh, so, they have to say that. They don't know that. <laughs> good pun. Yeah. Uh, anyways. So, yeah. Just gonna have him, and I'm gonna use my little board to kind of scare us. Okay. And just kind of follow the waves so we can kind of ride the waves, hoping to take a short break. Right. Uh, Jonas? Jonas is unaffected by the waves and the swarm, and he shouts to the rest of the crew, Do not panic. Hold tight to the pieces. I have a plan. I will return, and he dives underwater. Okay. Um, what are you He's doing underwater? Swimming down into the depths, hoping to find or encounter another creature that is from this area of the sea. Oh, yeah. As a triton, you can commune with deer like Aquaman. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, roll a, roll a survival check. Eleven. Okay, yeah, that'll work. Um, so you happen upon, actually, a small pod of whales. The whale. The kind of whales. Crudely communicate and ask the, tell them we are lost and if they can point to the direction of the nearest land or island. Does that sound too porky to you? Thank you. <laughs> I was just thinking. Hello! You speak whale? We're lost! So this is either gonna work or we're all gonna die. Got it. <laughs> let, me try, let me try and hop back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you managed to communicate with these whales. And I can't remember, do you get, like, communication back from them? Or how does that work? Titans can communicate. Like, they can understand what are, like, basically what I say, but they can't speak back, but they can communicate crudely back, just, you know, gesturing or pointing or somehow leading. I guess since they can't, like, actually communicate with you, you get a sense um, that they want to help, and you see that they are starting to head towards the surface. How far away are we in right now from the whale? I mean, you don't know that How far away are we from the rest of the group portion? Oh, Achman, I taught you how to swim. Achman, I taught you how to swim. So basically, you're propelling our piece of wood right now, and I'm steering with a smaller piece of debris. <laughs> yeah. Where are we going? Ah. I guess what my idea would be towards land, we're following the waves. Uh, Romanos looks up into, into the sky. So just looking at all this situation, not seeing a big enough uh, piece of wood, not knowing how I'm going to get out of this, me being a cleric, I simply look up in the sky and just start saying a prayer. Like, Ares, I have uh, lived my life in your name, and I owe many things to you. I will continue living through you and uh, being a badass uh, war horse if you get me out of, out of the situation. Okay, roll a religion check. 14. Can't roll it. Total of an 18. Oh, damn. Okay. Um, so. Right as you finish your prayer, you notice something in the water. Um, it just, it seems that there's a dark form underneath you. And as you're looking around, you feel something beneath your hooves as you are lifted bodily out of this water on the back of this humpback whale. Well, that was really quick. <laughs> I wonder how many, wonder well, how many of those well. I get. 
that actually that that deserves a punch. Fair. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, <laughs> Akmon, uh, while you are kicking your feet, as your new father Sergios taught you how to swim for the first time. Daddy Sergios. <laughs> Daddy <-os. laughs> No, it's not a father. It, 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 it's a, it's a dad. Yeah. It's a dad. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Daddy else is camp. <laughs> Daddy else, will you take me fishing? No, why, buddy? Just don't. <laughs> uh, so, while uh, Daddy else taught you how to swim, you notice that Romanos is lifted out of the water on the back of a whale, and about this time, another whale surfaces underneath you and the board that you're paddling. I'm on the same whale as Romanos? No, you're on your own separate whale, along yeah, with you. with Daddios. Daddios. I don't know what this is, but I really hope it's not going to eat me. I don't think we can fight it. Sergios walks over and pats Akmon on the head. It's like, I think it's friendly. <laughs> Sport. Hey, Akmon. Yeah? Can you roll your wild magic surge with disadvantage? Oh, shit. Uh... 18 and 16. Okay. Nothing happens. Ooh, nice roll of all, all my all happens. <laughs> yeah, that's what you get for your shit back rate. Come on. <laughs> he picked the wild magic sorcerer because it's a great thing. No, no, you were cooking up something, and I, we, you know, we don't like that. You probably didn't catch this, but Jonos went under the sea. Yeah, Little Mermaid style. <laughs> And was trying to get help of some sort. Oh. You're Aquaman. <laughs> <laughs> we we did have that conversation while you were gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, Tritons can communicate with water, uh, aquatic creatures. creatures. Yeah, with water. <laughs> they can talk to the water. Okay. The sea. It's <laughs> gonna be like yeah, it's gonna be Aquaman. Okay, so we're gonna start back with Sergios. Okay. Get get kind of back in some order. Of this. <laughs> <laughs> Went off the rails a little bit there. Yeah, good old ham pod. Right. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Sergios is just kind of gonna take look around to see if everyone else is on a whale or if we just got straight Pinocchio or <laughs> what's going on there. Do I need girl? Okay, so you you look around and you see. Uh, the whale that you and Akmod are on, you also see Romanos uh, doing some awkward balancing on top of his whale. <laughs> yes, the, the interpretive dance you're doing right yes. now describes it to a T. Like a dog in a flatbed. <laughs> <laughs> a flatbed man. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you, Sharp, for the whale. <laughs> and I'm going to say that Nicholas and Athos are close enough that a third whale surfaces and you guys are on top of that. I'm going to look at Romanos and be like, Did you do this? <laughs> Is this your doing? It is a my, not my doing, but possibly Ares. Wow, that was not cryptic at all. You're coming around. Cool. I can be straightforward when I want to. I just don't like talking to you. <laughs> Weird flex, but okay. Why did I picture that TikTok? They're like, I can take your man if I want to. Hey, All right. what's your name? All right. <laughs> I can't trick and trick. Fuck you, Tony. <laughs> what's your name? Ezekiel. Fuck you, Ezekiel. <laughs> Ah, cold open. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so at this point, everyone is on a whale other than Jonas. Uh, Jonas, what are you doing? Jonas can, is just going to grab a barnacle on the side of one of these humpback whales and ride out the wave. Okay. So... I'm going to say that these whales are able to carry you guys. Uh, I mean, obviously, they have to dive occasionally, 
but they keep you guys more or less on their backs throughout uh, and carry you guys as close to land as they can. Achman, do you remember what I taught you? Be the propeller. Can we get our little boat going? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, Akman, the, the whales took you guys to land. Alright, before I get off the whale, I'm gonna slap it a couple times and I call. I'm gonna name you blah blah. Cause that's what you sound like when I hit you. <laughs> <laughs> just, just get on the boat. Get, get on the boat. Akmon, Akmon, are you Gur from Invader Zim? Tells me what it's called. I'm just gonna start making a thing. Hey, it works. It, it works, works, man. <laughs> okay, so you guys have been brought close to the land. Um, I'm gonna say, I assume you guys swim to shore at this point. Um, so everyone, roll. I guess either a survival or a history check. Uh, go with survival. And that's another net 20 for survival. Nice. Yeah. Just roll the nine. Seven. That was also a What a history check. You got a what, Akman? You got a nine. Yeah. 17 on a history check. There's, there's definitely a difference between nine and 17. Nate, were you the nine? Mm -hmm. Okay. Jonas? got a five on a history check. Oof. Okay, so, Sergios, you're the only one. <laughs> um, you know that you've heard of where you guys are. Um, you, you recognize kind of the distant city that you can see and the lights that are coming from it. Even through the storm, there's bright lights that shine. Um, Although this is, you know, an ancient Greek setting, I think we kind of covered that it is an alternative history. Um, so you see essentially like the spotlights that you see outside of businesses shining in this city, um, which you know to be the city of Acadius. Hey guys, all that shit the GM just said. That, that, that's not very character. <laughs> That's very in character. The uh, voice from the heavens speaks. <laughs> hey, guys. So, I remember from the stories that I've heard that this is Arcadius. 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 Hey, guys. I remember from the stories that I heard that this is, this is the town of Arcadius. Would I know anything beyond? Yeah, and so you... Like, if it's friendly or... Yeah. So I, I won't make you repeat this. I'm just going to say it and say that Sergius relates this to the party. Um, Acadius is like an entertainment center, center um, for entertainment center. So a motherfucking <laughs> blackjack and hookers. Let's go. I mean, you're not entirely wrong. I mean, you made a line of cocaine off that horse's ass. <laughs> <laughs> Where, though? <laughs> right above the tail. <laughs> so, you know that Acadius is like... Hold <laughs> over. So, you, you know that Acadius is like the ancient Greek equivalent to, like, Hollywood. Uh, people come here... Number one, it is because it is an entertainment center... Uh, you know, they come here to be a part of the theater, to become philosophers, things of that nature. Um, it also attracts a lot of desperate people who are down on their luck. And so it definitely has its seedy underbelly. So, like, it attracts people, like, I don't know, you could say they're both the same. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll fit right in. Yeah, yeah. Yes, there is. Spider-Man cosplays on the stri uh, Hollywood strip there, or that strip, <laughs> uh, with puke going down their shirt. Yes. Yeah. And you can pay a dollar to take a picture yeah. of them. Which awesome. I hope I can. 
Also, the Naked Cowboy made a trip here. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Naked Hercules. <laughs> yeah. So after uh, Sergio relays that to us, I, I just uh... simply. <laughs> and like to shake her and burn her off and get the water. Okay. And then follow the lead. Okay. Well, should we go in? Who's coming with me? Who's coming with me? I can't believe I have to step onto this land of vile sin. But fire. Okay, you walk in the back of the line. <laughs> I walk out behind him, clap on the ass. Well, cheer up, Buttercup, let's go. Can I oh. roll to, like, yes. uh, to, to, hit, to, to kick him? Yes. To kick him? Yes, <laughs> absolutely. Roll with advantage. Nat 20, first oh. go. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, here we go. <laughs> so yeah, this is gonna go hard. <laughs> oh, right, square in the mouth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what? Yeah, absolutely. You just do the classic horse kick as he slaps you in the ass, and you just kick him like in the chest and knock him on his ass. Hey, that's a natural reaction. Though I was going to do it anyway, but... <laughs> I was going to say, like... <laughs> uh, beautiful. Okay, Jonos and Akman, are you following? Yeah, I'll come along. What's the like I just continue to... Well, not throw my arm around his shoulder because he's taller <laughs> than me, so as I walk... Maybe I'm around like, his, yeah. like, calf. <laughs> Why are you touching my knee? And I'm telling him stories that I've heard about Arcadius as we go in. And I tell him, Arcadius. 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 <laughs> Motherfucker, I'm telling Achman stories of Arcadius while we go in. So is he like... I'm supposed to do what with my what? <laughs> <laughs> so is he figure it out. So is he like carrying you? Sorry. Uh, I thought about is saying, he like, like it's rapid... reverse rolls like daddy has a hold of his leg as he's dragging Yeah, him. I'm just picturing like you've got one arm around like his knee as he's just carrying you with one leg. One foot on it. Yeah. Leg. I will say even before going into town though, have we even noticed if the people who we were supposed to be protecting survived? You guys weren't necessarily <laughs> like their protectors. You guys were Part of the entourage, um, well, so even, yeah, you even you then. weren't there like not to protect them, but you weren't specifically their bodyguards. You know what I mean. Yeah. Like like it, like it might be in our interest because if they're giving us any sort of monetary you know right. funds, you know. Uh, no, you you don't see anyone else who came to shore here, but also you guys were brought here by the police. Fair enough. All right. So they're they're all dead. Got it. <laughs> oh, we'll see. I hate that. I hate that so much. It's gonna bite us in the ass so hard, and I've got a really big ass. <laughs> Tune in next time. <laughs> and that's where we're at. No, now we got forty five minutes still. So yeah, we're yeah. good. Uh, okay, so you guys head off towards the city, which is still a fair distance away at this point, um, but. Nothing in particular happens of note on the way. Uh, you guys make your way. It's still raining, but you make your way to the city. Uh, I bar. <laughs> That's like in Dungeons and Daddies. He was bitching about, I hate different visual imagery. These fucking trips. You guys are there. Nothing happened. Right. It's just you. Yeah, you guys don't do anything. Like it's raining. <laughs> what species are the trees? Yeah. What kind of flowers are those? They're approximately fuck you. Okay. <laughs> is it a poplar tree? Is it or a tulip poplar? Or is it an unpoplar tree? <laughs> Mate. <laughs> Damn it, let's roll. Let's roll. <laughs> Oh, no, I just meant punch him again. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, That's going to be a thing. Like, if somebody said something idiotic, like, the, the gods from above, like, from him, are going to be whispering into my ear, hey, you need to just horse kick somebody in the fucking face or in the chest. Uh, <laughs> everyone roll a D for a psychic damage. <laughs> Wrong podcast. You called over. <laughs> 
how many different podcasts can we refer to in our podcast? <laughs> hey, we're giving two so far. Yeah, yeah. Just a big yeah, yeah for, for them. Yeah. <laughs> Matt Mercer, <laughs> there's three. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> there's three. <laughs> okay, uh, so you guys make your way to the city. Uh, nothing of note happens. Still raining, but it, it's a steady rain instead of you know, the wild storming rain. Uh, as you approach the walls of the city, a uh, guard yells down, Halt! Who goes there? Well, I want to mention that I am holding my shield over my head like a throat. Okay. And I'll tell them my name's Athis. I'd like passage into your city. Please and thank you. Sergio's is gonna follow that up with the. We were with diplomats. We got caught out in the storm and shipped. We don't know where any of the other ships went. Ours sank. We're just kind of looking for an inn or something to get us out of this rain. Okay. Um, roll. Whoever has better um, persuasion. Ah, actually, well, of, of these two, sorry, because they're they're the ones that yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'll turn you down. weren't talking. <laughs> they were talking. That's why I said. That's why I said. Okay. That's uh, well, for me. Okay, she got a name. <laughs> so, the guard looks down at you guys. This motley array of wet strangers and says you're an awfully long way from the senate what brings you to acadia we uh we washed up on well well we didn't wash up we got brought here by whales listen i know it's crazy but we're with this triton you see this is jonas and uh he talked to whales and they brought us to the beach, and we, uh, we, we seen the lights. I know, I know, crazy, I know, but we're really, why the fuck am I looking up at your ceiling like I'm talking to this guy? <laughs> God damn it. Oh. Hey, no, it gets you in character. Yeah, yeah. seriously. But, uh, like it you know, helps. um, yeah, like, like I said, crazy story, but this is where we ended up. We saw your lights from the beach. I knew this was Acadia, so... We're really, like I said, we're just kind of looking for an inn or something to get us out of this rain, just kind of regroup and make our way to the Senate. Uh, roll another persuasion. Advantage? Uh, no advantage this time, just Man, regular. That was really good. It, uh, okay, yeah, you know what? Roll with advantage. That's an 11. So he looks at you. And he looks over to his, his partner, also on the wall, and you, you see them kind of whispering back and forth. Uh, and he says, "That's a, it's a mighty tall tale, but it has been storming, and you seem mostly harmless, so come on into the city. Thanks, man. Resisting every urge to get really pissed off that he said it was a tall tale. <laughs> I'm just gonna let it go. Little triggered there. Little triggered. Being the shortest one in the group. And he's so I just see him. Uh, so uh, R Romano says he's walking by when you know, he's getting a little bit pissed. You know, sees a chance just to finally get back into his head and just be like, "Don't worry, little one. Mean it." <laughs> are, are you going full on emperor here? Like you feel his rage? You're just like, "Do it, yes. do it." <laughs> Temper down. Temper down. Or not. Okay, so you guys enter the gates to the city. Um, normally, in New Alexandria, it's it's fairly uneventful by this, which, what you guys assume like this time of day, um, especially with it storming like this, like it has been. Uh, not a lot happens. Most people want to stay inside and stay dry. But you notice that this city, uh, despite how dark it was on the way here, it is well lit. 
um, you actually feel a warmth radiating from the stone that make the road. And it actually helps to dry you up as you're walking. Does Atlas turn into a giant punch? Yeah, hold on. Can I roll a, uh, I don't know if this would be a religion check or an insight check to if I know possibly what, uh, what God is phrasing have this magical, what I just like a magical, you know, presence, you know, to dry everything. Yeah, absolutely. Roll well, uh, really. That is a nat one. Uh, well, I mean, Ares seems like he would be a really helpful god, but they don't seem like Ares followers per se, but you know, uh, it, it takes all kinds. So. I hate the place. <laughs> that's, that's all I'm going to think. I hate this place <laughs> because I don't even understand. <laughs> is there any place other than your home that's uh, or that you don't think that? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like that's something to do. Is there any place outside of your home that you'd like to see the phone? No. Awesome. Yeah, I don't even like my home that much. Yeah. Sounds about right. Yeah. Uh, so, you guys, I'm assuming you're looking for a hen. Yeah. Okay. Fucking stable. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Just picture like a Holiday Inn with a little bar. Motel, hotel, Holiday Inn. <laughs> or you can get sued by so many different places. So <laughs> okay, so you guys are kind of just walking through the streets of this city. And through this bustling crowd, um, which again is definitely odd for the weather and for uh, the time of day. As early as it was whenever you guys first encountered the storm, it's been a long day. It is now pretty late in the storm. Um, and you guys follow what seems to be the majority of the crowd to this bustling I mean, it is just a pack. Ah, Sergio, start. Like to get up to the bar. Sergio walks up to the bar and orders six drinks for everyone. Okay. So on on the way, there's a lot of hey kid, what the hell? Who let you in here? I look out for the big bushy. I'm not. Oh shit, sorry. It's up. And then uh, maybe then has to be a Nicholas pride. You know, we're just two senses, you know, <laughs> just of trying to get through people. Literally April. Yeah. <laughs> but there's two of them. I'm gonna look around for any city guards to talk to. Um, so you, uh, using your watcher's eye ability, um, you kind of look around. You don't see any of the city guards in the tavern, but just outside, you notice that they're regular. I want to go outside and try to find some guards so I can find out more about the city. So you head back outside. So you two. We're just struggling to find, I guess, a pl I, I would say I'm struggling just to find a place where I can just stand or just relax for a second, you know. Uh, I, I don't know if I see a place, you know, to like roll. Uh, no, so this is a very metropolitan type of city. Uh, they are used to all types, or nearly all types. Okay. So you do see... Uh, some places that look like they are for people of your sort, you and Nicholas Polk. Um, so yeah, you, you see like an oversized chair that you could sit on next to us. Uh, clearly built for someone of your stature. 
And I, I don't really know what a horse I'd would sit on. I'd probably just be, keeps, but... it'd be still standing. Yeah. yeah. yeah it, it, so, but... Or, or like, like the emperor's like pouches. Yeah. yeah, or like a stick padded type of like. Yeah. That sound. Fall him up in bar. Win. Four. Comes over to crank him on line up and add It's what makes this cavern so popular. Pretty busy. Hey, uh, what? Are, are you always this busy? We're, we're doing it now. It's pretty busy. It's always like this, or is there something special going on? What's going on? So, the barkeep is how you do it. So, yeah, the, the barkeep looks at you and says, You clearly are new here. This is the premier tavern. All of the philosophers of the city and the bars come here. This is where they all have made their name before they go off to the theater. Oh, this is going on. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, are you okay? I'm going to try to follow you through the crowd. Your legs. So you're like crawling on all four? Oh yeah, and I'm kind of a big boy. So, like, <laughs> uh, 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 Achman, what are you doing? Well, this is how you went through it. Yeah, I well, st stand up, stand up. I'm three foot tall. Just walk, Just walk over here. Three foot one. Three foot one. Yes, I'm three foot one inch. You're very tall. Just, just walk over. If someone's in your way, you say excuse me. And wait for them to move. Continue with what you were saying, Barky. So, I I can only assume that because you are a newborn and you are already taking things way too literally, that you are going through and you are like anybody you bump into, you say, "Excuse me, wait for them to move." <laughs> That's exactly what I do. <laughs> Just as me and Nicholas are. <laughs> you just have the biggest smile on your face as you're saying this to everyone. Excuse me, mister. Excuse me, ma'am. <laughs> just, just as me and Nicholas are back there, we're watching. We're just having a good little uh, chuckle to ourselves. <laughs> as, uh, you know, <laughs> just, just seeing this proper polite. It's like, man, I, I think I was here. there. But, <laughs> anyway, we could probably wave down. Uh, wave down. I'm Let's getting one. Better see. Wait. Also, got to get me up there. Because there's. <laughs> or me and her there. Do any of our like tasks with us or even payment? <laughs> that is a great question. Thanks for being the. Hey, teacher, didn't we have homework, guys? Yeah. <laughs> teacher, teacher. I'm just, uh, uh, I'm just saying. Yeah, I feel but... like all of us. Do I like put stuff in my body? Or yeah, you're you're Bender. Yeah, like Bender. You just. Yeah. China Middle Ash. <laughs> I see Ackman open his chest with a gold. I look at my pouch while he has it open. <laughs> Chuck it in there. Hey, what are you doing? I want to keep my gold in your chest too. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> That's it. Not a robot. You don't even know what a robot is. I know, but <laughs> it's a term of endearment. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Okay. It's gnomish. It's gnomish. Uh, yeah. So I, I'm gonna assume that everyone was able to keep their pack, especially because it wasn't a big enough ship to have like a cargo hold or anything. Oh, I'll say that you guys were able. Hold on. Okay. So you guys didn't. Didn't you know how bad. 
Yeah. Hey, you know, as you're level one, you haven't had a real fight yet. Well, so. I mean, it was gonna be a oh, these guys, these guys have to do the dishes because you now they're they, they can't pay. <laughs> Episode three, dishwasher. <laughs> <laughs> <Hold on. laughs> okay, so we're gonna go back to Athos. Uh, Athos, you've managed to flag down a couple of the guards. Uh, okay, so I would like to ask them if anything strange has happened. And while I'm asking them, I'm taking my city watch uniform out of my bag and putting it on and making sure they have a ready so that they know I'm one of them. <laughs> but from a different city. Right. Because you're asking about what um, kind of, like, what specifically? I just want to know if anything like out of the ordinary has happened. One of the guards uh, looks at you and says, there's always crime. So it's not anything. New crime. Good. So, so, so no new crime that we aware of outsiders. He looks at you. No. The, uh, the Black Legion. You would recognize him as a member of the Keeps this. Okay, so then I'll go back inside the tavern. Okay. So, Sergius, I imagine that you probably join the others where they found a spot at Wake Bigger Drink. And around this time, a individual takes the you know, kind of dais stage that got set up. Um, and the crowd falls silent, waiting to hear what they say. And that's where we'll end the session. Motherfucker. <laughs> you rat bastard. Uh, will we hear a performance that will make our ears bleed? Check out next time on Ham Pod. <laughs> Thanks again, everyone, for listening to Hammer of the Gods. Just want to give a quick shout out again to our friend Ben at Rainfire, R I E G N F I R E, on TikTok, and Ben Matherly, that's B E N M A T H E R L Y, on Instagram, for doing our art. And just being an all-around awesome person. Also, want to give a quick shout-out to Zach's business. You may have seen on our social media recently. Uh, Bunkhouse Bomb Bead and Leatherwork. Check out his page for high-quality goods, low-quality people. Uh, Zach makes beaded hat bands, tooled and beaded leather belts. And just about anything else you can think of that is leatherwork or beading-related. Send him a message and he'll let you know what he can do. Also, make sure you follow us on social media. On Facebook and Instagram at HamPod. That's H-A-M-M-P-O-D. Thanks for following. <laughs>